The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyonga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to Lesson 35 on your distance education program in chemistry for lower seat science. I am Lomni Kingum Innocent, your chemistry teacher. We are still on the topic matter, properties and transformation and we are treating the subtopic atomic structure. This subtopic atomic structure will be treated in the following lessons. The discovery of the electron and the proton, discovery of the nucleus, discovery of the neutron and most this experiment, mass number, atomic number, nuclides and isotopes, the mass spectrometer, Uses of the mass spectrometer, nature and properties of ionizing radiations, nuclear reactions, rate of radioactive decay, review of more concept and atomic structure, electromagnetic spectrum and atomic spectra, atomic emission spectrum of hydrogen, ionization energy, Experimental evidence of ionization energy, ionization energy and shells, ionization energy and subshells, atomic orbitals and quantum number, building up principle and electronic configuration, and finally, electron affinity as converse of ionization energy. Before beginning today's lesson, let us correct the assignment we had at the end of our previous lesson. Correction of assignment. Question 1. Define the following. A. An orbital. What is an orbital? An orbital is a region or volume of space around the nucleus of an atom, within which there is a high probability of finding an electron. B. Define quantum numbers. What are quantum numbers? Quantum numbers are numbers assigned to the shells, subshells, orbitals, and spins of electrons in an atom. Complete the table. That is question two. Complete the table given to you on your screen. Now, we have to complete the table by writing the angular momentum quantum numbers of the corresponding subshells, the magnetic quantum numbers, and the number of orbitals in each subshell. Now, for the S subshell, angular momentum quantum number is zero. Magnetic quantum number is gotten by fitting the values of angular momentum quantum number in the range negative L to plus L. So, for the first subshell, S subshell, the magnetic quantum number is zero. A number of orbitals in that subshell can be gotten by uh, using the formula 2L plus 1, where L stands for the angular momentum quantum number of the subshell. There will only be one orbital in the S subshell. For the P subshell, the angular momentum quantum number is one. There are three values for the magnetic quantum number that is negative one, zero, and plus one, and there are three orbitals three orbitals. So notice that the three orbitals, they correspond with the number of magnetic quantum numbers because each of those numbers describe the orientation of a particular orbital 
in space. So the G subshell, there are five orbitals, and there are also five magnetic quantum numbers of negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. And the azimuthal quantum number for the G subshell is 2. For the S, uh, F subshell, the magnetic quantum number value is 3. There are, uh, the azimuthal quantum number is 3, and uh, there are 5 orbitals in that subshell. Now, there are also 5 different values for the magnetic quantum number. These are negative, th negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, and plus 3. So the table is correctly filled. Now today's lesson is titled Building Up Principle and Electronic Configuration. The outline of our lesson is as follows. Objectives prerequisite, building up principle and electronic configuration, evaluation, assignment, and references. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to write electronic configuration of atoms and ions using both the SPTF notation and electron in boxes notation. You should be able to state the three principles used in working out electronic configuration. Prerequisite. In order to effectively understand this lesson, you must have mastered the 281832 pattern of electronic configuration. You must also have mastered atomic orbitals and quantum numbers. Electronic configuration. Electronic configuration is the way in which electrons are arranged in the various atomic orbitals of an atom. I repeat, electronic configuration is the way in which electrons are arranged in the various atomic orbitals of an atom. Now, there are two main notations used when writing the electronic configuration of species. We have the SPDF notation and the electron in boxes notation. Now let's begin with the SPDF notation. In the SPDF notation of writing electronic configuration, the occupied subshells are written in order of increasing energy, and the number of electrons in each subshell is written as a superscript or power following the subshell. I repeat, in the SPDF notation of writing electronic configuration, the occupied subshells are written in order of increasing energy, and the number of electrons in the subshells are written as superscripts or powers following the subshells. For example, the electronic configuration of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Now, notice that sodium has 11 electrons. Now, the 1s subshell, because if you're writing the subshells in order of increasing energy, 1s subshell has a lower energy than the 2s, which in turn has a lower energy than the 2p and the 3s. Now look at the numbers in red. 1s, the power is 2, indicating that there are two electrons in the 1s subshell. 2s2, the power is 2, two electrons in the 2s subshell. 2p6, the number is 6. There are six electrons in the 2p subshell and there is one electron in the 3s subshell. So the subshells are written in order of increasing energy. The number of electrons in them are written as superscripts or powers. Electron in boxes notation. Now the electron in boxes notation for writing electronic configuration shows each orbital as a box and the electron in that orbital as arrows in the boxes. Now, the opposite spins of electrons are shown by arrows pointing in opposite direction. There will be a spin up arrow pointing upward and a spin down for arrows pointing downward. For example, sodium again has 11 electrons. Now, if we were to arrange the electrons in the different subshells, indicate the year in the box in boxes, now you have 1s, there's one box, 2s, one box for one orbital. 2p, there are three boxes because there are three orbitals in the 2p subshell. In the 3s, there is one box. Now, notice that the first 
subshell one has their two electrons represented by the two arrows pointing in opposite direction. One arrow points up and the other one, other arrow is pointing downward. Same for the second subshell and the third subshell that is the 2p, the arrows pointing up and down. In a particular orbital, one arrow points up and the other points down. So this is electronic configuration of soju using the electron in boxes notation. Now, working out electronic configuration. When working out electronic configuration, three principles are used. These principles are the building up principle or the off ball principle. We have the Pauli exclusion principle and the Hunt's rule. Let's begin with the building up principle or the off ball principle. The building up principle states that electrons fill atomic orbitals in order of increasing energy subject to the Pauli exclusion principle. I repeat, the building up principle states that electrons fill atomic orbitals in order of increasing energy subject to the Pauli exclusion principle. Now, the orbitals or the subshells arranged in order of increasing energy is given to you on your screen. And the order in which they are filled is also given. Now look at the arrow. We begin with the first shell to the second shell, the third shell, fourth shell, downward to the eighth shell. Now this 1s is found in the first shell, 2s, 2p in the second shell, just like that to the very end. So we begin by filling those with lower energy, moving to those with higher energy progressively. So the 1s subshell is the lowest in terms of energy. When it is filled, we go to the 2s in that order. When the 2s is filled, we move to the 2p, then to the 3s, from the 3s to the 3p, then to the 4s, from the 4s to the 3, uh, 4s, we go to 3d, from 3d we go to 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, and so forth. So do not bother so much, but if you carry out, if you practice in writing electronic configuration using this table or the picture on your screen, you master it easily and you'll be able to write electronic configurations without having need for the picture. Just little practice will help you master it. Now the Pauli exclusion principle. The Pauli exclusion principle states that not more than two electrons are allowed to occupy any orbital. And the two electrons that occupy the orbital must have paired spins or opposite spins. I repeat, the Pauli exclusion principle states that not more than two electrons are allowed to occupy any orbital. And the two electrons in each orbital must have paired spins, that is their spins must be opposite. Hunt rule. Hunt's rule states that orbitals will first fill one electron. Orbit, orbitals will first fill with one electron each with parallel spins before a second electron is added with the opposite spin. I repeat, Hunt's rule states that orbitals will first fill with one electron each with parallel spins before a second electron is added with the opposite spin. For example, look at the way the orbitals are filled. Now, what I want you to remember is that the three orbitals in the P subshells are degenerate. That is, they have the same energy. So all of them must be filled with, must be singly filled before any is doubly filled. So now let's begin with the first uh, presentation. Discover that the first 1s subshell is first of all filled with one electron pointing upward then the second is added with the opposite speed. The second, 2s, is the same. Now, for the 2p, the first orbital is filled with this electron pointing upward, and the second, it is not paired. The first orbital is not yet paired because all the three orbitals in the p subshell must first be singly filled before any is paired than opposite speed. The second p orbital is also filled. So this representation is correct. Now, the second is also correct even though the spins are pointing downward, but they are parallel. The orbitals are filled 
with parallel spins before they are being doubled. So it is also correct. Now the third one, the first one S is correct. The spins are paired. Two S is correct. The spins are paired. But now the two P, the first orbital has an electron pointing upward, and the second has an electron pointing downward. The spins are not okay. We first of all fill the orbitals, the three P orbitals, with parallel spins before we start pairing any with the opposite spin. So this representation is wrong. The last one is also wrong because we are pairing one p orbital without yet without first filling the others. And we know that the three p orbitals are degenerate. All the orbitals, they have the same energy. They must all be singly filled before any is paired. So the first two representations are correct. Example one. Write the electronic configuration of the following elements using the SPDF notation. A, fluorine, nine electrons, calcium with 20 electrons, and iron with 26 electrons. Answers. Want to write the electronic configuration of fluorine using the SPDF notation. Now, based on this table, or this picture where the subshells are arranged in order of increasing energy, we are supposed to fill the 1s first. When it's completely filled, we move to the 2s in that manner, and then we go to the 2p, 1s to the 2s, 2p, 3s, until the electrons, the non electrons of fluorine, are used up. So if we do that correctly, and remembering that the s orbital can take only two electrons, and the b can take six electrons. And the D will take 10 electrons. If we have that in mind, the electronic configuration of fluorine will be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5. Now, the two, the powers, stand for number of electrons in the subshells. If you add them, 5 plus 2 plus 2, it gives us 9. To show that we have used all the 9 electrons in writing the electronic configuration of fluorine. So, that is the electronic configuration of fluorine. Now, the electronic configuration of calcium, by using the same order, we fill the 1s, we go to the 2s, we move to the 2p, 3s, we go to uh, the 3p, then we go to 4s in that manner. We are filling each of the subshells until the 20 electrons of calcium are used up in writing the electronic configuration. So, if we use this correctly, the electronic configuration of calcium will be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s2. So after writing, it's good to add the powers in order to verify that they are up to the number of electrons of the element. So if we take 2 plus 6, it gives us 8. Plus 2, it gives us 10. Plus 6, it gives us 16. Plus 2, 18. Plus 2, 20. So the electronic configuration of calcium is correct. Now we move to the electronic configuration of ion. Now, if we use the table, we discover that we fill the 1s first, going to the 2s in order of increasing energy until the 26 electrons of ion are used up in writing the electronic configuration. If we do that correctly, we we'll have electronic configuration of ion to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. So, after writing them, we struggle to add the powers to verify whether they will give us 26 electrons for ion. We do that, we have 6 plus 2, which is 8, plus 6, which is 14, plus 2, which is 16, plus 6, which is 24, plus 2, which is 20, 22, plus 6, uh, plus 2, which is 24, plus 2, which is 26. So if you add them correctly, you have 26 electrons for ion, and that is electronic configuration of ion. Example two, write the electronic configuration of the following element using the electron in boxes notation. A, nitrogen, B, oxygen, C, fluorine. Now answers, write the electronic configuration of the following elements using the electron in boxes notation. A, the electronic configuration of nitrogen. Now, electronic configuration of nitrogen, according to the SPDF notation, is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. So, feeding uh, these electrons in the various orbitals in the boxes 
representing the orbitals according to the electron in boxes notation, we are going to have this, where the, the two electrons in the 1s subshell are represented by two arrows, one pointing up and the other pointing down. Same for the 2s, and then the three electrons in the 2p subshell are represented by arrows pointing up because the 2p subshell is half filled, so the spins are parallel. The electronic configuration of oxygen using the electron in boxes notation. So, uh, electron in, uh, electronic configuration of oxygen according to the SPDF notation is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4. So, if you want to fill them in the boxes to get the electron in boxes notation, you're going to have 1s with two electrons having paired spins, 2s subshell with two electrons having paired spins, and the 2p, we have four electrons, three of them have parallel spins, and one of the orbital has a paired electron with a spin pointing downward. Now for fluorine, electron electronic configuration according to the SPDF notation is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5. If you want to have the electron in boxes notation, you will have 1s, the two electrons with paired spins, 2s, the two electrons are having paired spins, and the 2p, we have Two of the two p elect uh, two of the two p orbitals and the two p subshells are paired and one is unpaired. So you have three electrons with paired spins and two with opposite spins that are also no, two electrons with three electrons with parallel spins and two electrons with spins pointing down in two of the orbitals. So this is electronic configuration of fluorine. The one s is paired, two s is paired, the two p is partially filled and two of the orbitals in the 2p are paired and one is half -filled. So electronic configuration of ions. An ion is an atom with a molecule with a net electric charge. I repeat, an ion is an atom with a molecule with a net electric charge. And there are two main types of ions. These are cations or positive ions or an anions or negative ions. Cations or positive ions. Cations are formed when an atom loses one or more of its outer electrons. And the magnitude of the charge on the cation indicates the number of electrons lost by the atom to form the cation. For example, for sodium atom to form the sodium ion, the sodium atom will have to lose an electron. So the sodium ion formed has one electron less than the sodium atom. So sodium ion will have 10 electrons, while sodium atom has 11 electrons. So if we are to arrange the 10 electrons of the sodium ion in different subshells, we, are, we will have the electronic configuration of sodium ion. This will be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. So the electronic configuration of sodium ion is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6. Anions or negative ions. Anions are formed when an atom gains one or more electrons. And in anion, the magnitude of the charge on the anion indicates the number of electrons gained by the atom to form the anion. For example, for oxygen to form the oxide ion, an atom will have to gain two electrons to form the oxide ion. So the oxide ion has two electrons more than the oxygen atom. So oxide ion has a total of 10 electrons, while oxygen atom has only eight electrons. If we are arranging the 10 electrons in different subshells, we'll have the electronic configuration of the oxide ion. That will be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6, a total of 10 electrons. So that is electronic configuration of the oxide ion. Example two, write the electronic configuration of the following ions, A, chloride ion, and B, aluminum ion. Chloride ion. Now, chloride ion is formed when a chlorine atom gains one electron. Therefore, the number of electrons in a chloride ion will be 17 plus one because chlorine has 17 electrons. So we have a total of 18 electrons in the chloride ion. 
So the electronic configuration of the chloride IO will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6. That is the electronic configuration of the chloride IO. Now, electronic configuration of aluminum 3 plus ion. Now, for aluminum 3 plus ion to be formed, an aluminum atom will have to lose three electrons. That means the number of electrons in the aluminum 3 plus will be 13 minus 3. There are 13 electrons in aluminum, so we subtract 3, we'll be left with 10 electrons in the aluminum ion. Therefore, electronic configuration of aluminum 3 plus will be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6. Recall. It is important to remember that electronic configuration is a way in which electrons are arranged in various atomic orbitals of an atom. The two main notations used when writing electronic configuration are the SPTF notation and the electron in boxes notation. The three principles used when working out electronic configuration are the building up or off-board principle, the Pauli exclusion principle, and Hunt's rule. Evaluation. To know how well you followed this lesson, answer these questions. Question 1. List the three principles used when working out electronic configuration. Question 2. Write the electronic configuration of the following using SPDF notation. A. Scandium. B. Calcium ion. Question 1. Answer. List the three principles used when working out electronic configuration. What are the three principles used when writing out when working out electronic configuration? The three principles used when working out electronic configuration are the building up principle, the Pauli exclusion principle, and Hunt's rule. Question 2. Write the electronic configuration of the following using SPTF notation. A. Scandium. Scandium has 21 electrons. Now, following the table, arranging the orbitals in order of increasing energy and filling them with electrons, we will have the electronic configuration and electronic configuration of scandium to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d1. That is electronic configuration of scandium. And if you add the powers representing the electrons, you are supposed to have exactly 21. That is the atomic number of scandium. If you go, we have 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus 6, 10, plus 3, 12, plus 6, 18, plus 2, 20, and plus 1, 21. So that is electronic configuration of scandium. Now the electronic configuration of calcium ion. Now for calcium atom to form the calcium ion, each atom will lose two electrons. So the number of electrons in calcium ion will be two, two less than that for calcium atom. So the number of electrons in calcium ion will be 20 minus 2 since there are 20 electrons in calcium atom. So that will give us a total of 18 electrons in the calcium ion. So arranging these electrons in the different subshells will have electronic an electronic configuration of calcium ion to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. If we are adding the powers, we are supposed to have exactly 18 electrons for the calcium ion. So if we go, we have 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus 6, that is 10, plus 2, 12, and plus 6, 18. There are 18 electrons in calcium ion, and that is electronic configuration of calcium ion. Assignment. Before our next lesson, I would like you to answer this question. Write the electronic configuration of the following and explain. A. Chromium. B. Copper. And C. Potassium ion. References Chemistry for the IB Diploma by Steve Owen Advanced Chemistry by Michael Cluxton and Rosalind Fleming Chemistry in Context by Graham Hill and John Holman Complete Advanced Level Chemistry by Ngule Emanuel Eno We have come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on Electron Affinity as Converse of Ionization Energy. See you in the next lesson. 
Un tege si ma tege yob, un tege minga ma tege nyum, un tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia niña ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, esa kina bia jinkido, ma ne tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike, Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bien niña ne injo bien 